Hello, I'm Claire Louise Hay from BeHealing.com and this is the energy update for all signs for Wednesday the 12th of July 2023. I hope you're doing well. I have a live show three times a week here on YouTube. Give mini reads in the uh, one question readings. You can book in for those on my website BeHealing.com. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also on up there too. Book yourself in. I will do your reading right at the start of the next show and then send you a link to the replay to watch it back or you can come along live and book while I'm live too. I also offer private readings from my website, BeHealing.com. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too. And I get those out within 48 hours of you ordering them. Uh, if you've got questions for it, click on the Contact Us page after you've booked in. Put your questions in there for your reading. So what's in the energies for everybody today? Let's have a look. The Awakening, again. Waking up to something. Waking up to something. Or maybe waking up to someone new. What's that? Resilience. Something that you've hanged on in there. Something that you've waited for a long time or you were hanging on in there for. Been resilient. Anchor, strand. Something that kept you going. Something, um, yeah, yeah, ambition. Anchor and strength. So something you've been going for and been really resilient for and really working toward or you a dream that you've not let go of you've been tenaciously holding on to hmm okay tell us more what's going on two of ones you could be making some decisions on what action you're going to take on something today or where you're going to go as well it could be about where you're going to go seven of swords some deceptive energy someone perhaps lying or trying to deceive you or it could be you deceiving yourself or not deceiving yourself anymore. We've got the Six of Pentacles energy, which was very much prevalent in yesterday's reading too, of reciprocation. Someone reciprocating now. Someone able to give as much as you or, or rewarding you correctly for some work that you've been doing. What else? Judgment. I need to make a decision today to be discerning. Let's have a look. Two of Wands, so you could be deciding where to go or what it is that you're going to do. Why? Why the Two of Wands? It could be a tricky decision. It's with the Seven of Emotions here, it could, it could be confusing, your decision there. So you could be thinking about a decision that you need to make today and, yeah, just thinking it over a lot. Could have a few options, in fact. Integration. What to add into your life that will fit, that will fit properly. So either where to go, because I was hearing that quite strongly. Some of you are deciding where to go, but it could be kind of, kind of confusing. Where will you fit in? Right. Seven of Swords, deception. What is going on here? Is this someone else or is it us or what? Um, I just heard those that shout the loudest are often trying to deceive you. Those that are, um, yeah, that seem the most confident, the ones that are try perhaps trying to push you into something. The two of voices, you might be undecided, music of emotions. It could be someone that pretends to love you, but it might not be very loving. Do you know what I mean? It's like when your parents hit you and then tell you that they're doing it because they love you, and it's like that doesn't feel like love to me. Or... Or a narcissist tells you that they love you, but they're being really mean to you and really horrible to you. You know, it's that it's that kind of thing. So two of voices, you could be in two minds, like that doesn't feel like love. Somebody perhaps saying, it doesn't have to be in romance, but it could be someone pretending they're doing the right thing for you, but you feel that it's really not. And hmm. tricky energies there trying to think of some other examples of it but I'm sure you know what I'm talking about what well, once um, one of my friends she's not a friend anymore I realized in this moment that she wasn't my friend she was telling me she was only telling me this because she loves me but what she was telling me was just her point of view which was completely racist and and really offensive really offensive um to me uh, and and my feelings as well as to other people as well and she was trying to say that that point of view was just put her point of view right 
she was telling me that because she loved me and it was like there's there's no love in that at all <laughs> only only judgment of not just me um, but many people as well and it's that kind of you might be realizing something today perception and duality yeah and it could just be like someone's opinion right it's just got they've got a different opinion but they might be trying to put that on you today so just watch out for that because i did hear very clearly those that shout the loudest often are deceiving themselves they might believe what what it is that they're saying right they probably do but for you to take that on is that like the bigger truth probably not six of pentacles the six of pentacles so six of pentacles is about receiving what you deserve now um, it's about reciprocation and it's out with the two of your emotions so we could be talking about a love match here there might be someone coming into your life that is of the same caliber as you has as much to offer as you that um yeah can reciprocate to the same level as you can in relationships so they could have like a similar standing to you similar morals to you similar um uh, desire for relationship and to invest in the relationship as well very good what's behind this you could be meeting someone new or, or a relationship could be developing to that level where you realize grounding very grounded kind of a relationship so one that um, is progressing one that you know you could take to meet your best friends or your family or whoever something that is is moving forward um, but judgment, you need to make, there's some discernment required today. What's this judgment here for? Mm. Six of inspiration and the ten of emotions. Being seen to be getting what it is that you want that makes your heart happy. You see, the six, the six of inspiration is winning but it's like being seen to be winning. So other people seeing that you're getting what it is that you want now. Um, but the judgment, the discernment about it, the ten of inspiration flopped out on the table after these two had come out. So it's about taking something on but not taking the burdens of that on. Now this could mean that other people think that you've got something really good and you're like, no, I'm letting go of that ten of inspiration. I'm making a good decision for them, for myself. And they could be like, what are you doing that for? That's the best thing for you. And you know, it's not the best thing for me. I'm making a decision to let go of that burden. It's burdensome to me. So yeah, this could, I think, have something to do with the Seven of Swords there. I think someone could be trying to push their opinion on you, telling you what's best for you kind of thing. And you might be like, okay, even though I'm being seen, Six of Inspiration, Ten of Emotions, that this should please my heart or that I should love this person or that, that I should be happy in this job. I'm not. And so yeah I'm, I'm letting this go so you might be making a really good decision for yourself and making change in your life which is, isn't what other people would you know choose but they wouldn't know they probably would, would they choose the same as you if they were actually in the situation we can't look at things from outside that's what the six of inspiration and ton of emotions is it's like six of inspiration i'm looking from outside and saying that you should be happy in that thing your, your heart should be fulfilled well we can't say what's going to fulfill other people's hearts right it's like saying you should be in love with that person <laughs> and then saying well i'm not you know we can't we can't say that kind of thing so you do you what about our love lives what's going on in our love lives don't make decisions based on guilt or what you think you should do there you go you see for it's only being true to yourself that you can be true to others so remain true to your heart and yourself today and don't let anyone else try and tell you who you should be loving or what you should be liking or all of that kind of stuff who should be right for you what kind of person should be right for you even or that you should stay and because you should be able to make something work as well that's another one forgive forgive them and i don't think it's about forgiving the person like romantic interest themselves i think it's more about forgiving those around us today of trying to push us or guilt us or shut us into something that isn't right for us could be receiving some communication from someone today someone perhaps that is growing trust someone's building trust with you someone that you're learning to trust beginning to trust someone that you can trust could be getting communication from someone that you can trust we have wow a lot of bad cards here rules someone could be rules and again i'm picking up that this is like from outside 
outside of relationships. So it's more like someone, like your mum or you know, a family member or a friend telling you that there's rules that you should be following. But are there? Are there rules? I don't know. Using. Ah, okay. Again, I think this is outside of relationship. Someone looking in. Someone trying to use you. Someone trying to live vicariously through you. Using you. So, when people are miserable in their relationships, instead of focusing on their relationship and sorting that out, they can tend to project onto other people and then start trying to tell other people what to do in the relationships. It could be that kind of thing. Villain. And you could be being seen as the villain, but really it's about their unhappiness in their relationship and not about yours at all so that's just for some of you there that could be coming up so just watch out for that and don't take that off somebody time to look at their own relationships instead what else today what's going on we've got unsuccessful plans says the knot we'll see about that we've got the gavel involvement with the law Watch out, don't go speeding now, don't, and park in the right places. Dog close up, pleasure with a close friend. And a pail, time to get out of a situation. Yeah, this one for sure. So think of a yes or no answer question because I've got a red and a green crystal in this bag. I'm gonna pull one of them out very shortly for your answer. But this is just a bit of fun because it's a general reading, not a personal reading. Now, if you want to ask a personal question as a, a one question, I offer those one question readings from my website, behealing.com. You can find a link for that in the description box below and also one up there too. Now, I will do your reading right at the start of the next live show and then send you the link to the replay so that you can watch it back. Alternatively, you can come to the live show and you can book while I'm live too. I can also use these in private readings as well if you want something with a lot more detail, if it's a very important question to you. Uh, or you've got many questions then you can book in for one of those there's a link in the description box below and also one up there too get those out within 48 hours of your ordering them click on the contact us page after you're booked in put your questions in there distracted by the cards how best to deal with these energies today well we've got three cards out so let's deal with them all we've got the knight of cups and the knight of swords so knight of cups is about romance knight of swords it is about um being on a mission kind of thing doing your own thing and standing up for your own beliefs and going into something so do that stuff and queen of pentacles be stable within yourself stable the queen of pentacles is stable and accomplished she knows what she wants to invest in and all of that kind of thing so don't be shaken i'm like i'm getting from this don't be shaken by someone else and, and their opinions and their instabilities keep yourself stable today so don't, be, don't, let, don't let them rock you. Think of a yes or no answer question now. Pause the video if you're not ready for your answer. Your answer is no. Don't do it. There you go. Thank you so much for watching. And don't forget to click like. Before you click off down there, click on that subscribe button with that notification bell if you're new. Uh, because I do an energy update like this every single day of the year. I go live three times a week in my Psychic Cafe show. Would love to see you in there and give you a, a read. And I also make three love picker card reads a week as well. You can find one of those right there right now and watch that next if you want. Have the best day ever. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.